I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. I'm referring to, to the start of part 53, oh, of course. Oh, and that other mean... thing. Hey, it's not supposed to have two walls. Oh, oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. <laughs> Is this a joke? Say, I'm thoughts. not laughing. <laughs> Very well, begin your testimony. This right. is gonna be interesting. Mystery Man 2. There's one over three that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. Oh my god, that's actual deductive reasoning. An ID card record. I see. I have the you know, ID Mickey's card. You know, Mickey is probably the most on. honest witness you've we've ever had in this series. And the sad <laughs> thing, sure, is that when you think of it, Meekins is actually deep down one of the smarter officers on the force. He's just a bit naive, I guess. Or is that incredibly not naive? Just before the crime. Hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, also, if he forgets to say something in a testimony he genuinely it. forgot, he's not hiding anything. Several mm -hmm. hundred cases should have been due for transferal. Why were there so few people using this room? Hmm, good question. This particular Evans room is only star is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? So what are those the cases I'm involved six, in? Six, that's all mine. You, you know. yeah. Extremely violent cases. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too. Although it doesn't make much of a difference since my hair's always standing. <laughs> <laughs> there were only a few cases up for transfer there, and were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Now, let us move on to the cross-examination. Why is there a capital L after a comma? Hmm. It's a mystery, ain't it? There's no mystery, uh, typos. Hold it! So, unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Well... I... Yes, sir! Solid as told, sir! Uh-huh... If my hand was wrapped in bandages... <laughs> I didn't get the fee for victory side, sir! <laughs> Can right, we so just use his right hand for that? Alright guys, I'm at 410. Uh, sorry, Let's I hear him out. Refresh. The witness All can't right. afford to make any more mistakes. 410, got it. Yep. Hold it! Is that card hanging from your neck one of those ID cards? Yes, sir! This card right next to my cuff, sir! I keep it here so I won't ever forget it! Smart! But what if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open like that? Da -da. Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. Well, it's an <laughs> idea! <laughs> Remember what I said to you three times by time? Yeah, it wasn't a terrible card. idea. When I get out, well, the remaining time my ID card gets stuck. Awkward. Instead of the door closing, my ID card chokes me. Maybe <laughs> I should just leave this one alone. At any rate, each police <laughs> officer has only one ID card. Both the police department and the prosecutor's office can attest to this. Please proceed with your testimony. Okay, Tio, get ready in five, four, three, two, one, click. Hold nice. it! Let it be noted that this is the record. Let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goodman. Hmm? What's the matter? Uh, according to this... Mr. Edgeworth! Your name is on here! Oops. So it is, Your Honor. <laughs> Not that prosecutor again! Hey, maybe hey. it's beyond all this. Being a prosecutor could add the evidence. Mommy, is that man in blue or not? <laughs> Don't stare at him. You've got the wrong color, kid. <laughs> it, it would seem the inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. <laughs> 
I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. For yeah, now, sure, we'll just... let us continue with the cross-examination. You know the penalty. Poor Mr. Hedgeworth, it must be so difficult for him. Your head will be shaved. <laughs> the shave or shame? Hmm. Yeah. OBJECTION! Ugh. Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. Oh, I'm not good at waiting, sir! <laughs> Wait, he says, do I look like a waiter? <laughs> <laughs> I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. You got a piece of paper, sir. That makes sense. Hmm. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. You know, the underground parking lot in the prosecutor's office! Hmm. Uh, Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. Hey. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A lost item report? So the half completed. Hmm. Hmm. But, it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something yeah. important enough to fill out this report. Yeah, he lost his life. <laughs> Aside from that, let me guess, you believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order! Order! So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't require much thought. Uh... uh in this courtroom? The man Officer <laughs> Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card! This was possible. <laughs> order! 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 Does the prosecution have a response? Hmm. Pedro is here. All right. I go have ahead. only one oh, thing sorry, to I say to the defense. Hmm? Hmm? Bravo, Mr. Wright. <clears throat> um. You know, you guys do this on purpose. It's always the days when I arrive uh, uh, just a bit late because, eh, whatever. They'll uh, that you guys always decide to all arrive at the same time and early. Uh, go to It's amazing how it happens. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5:15 on the day of the crime, the man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman. It was his brother, Detective Badman. <laughs> but they well, have two different last names. Game, How could they be, be brothers? By this, so. No, no, no. His brother might have changed his name. All right, I'm at 9:30. All right. All right. Alright. First, the locker in the evidence room was unlocked. Second, no. the victim lost his ID card. No. And then, <coughs> am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? Hmm. That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. Alright, which is... Uh... If the victim in this video is a fake... Faker. Then the murder in the evidence room is also fake. Um... And for you, by the way. Yeah, 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 okay. we're, come, we're about to come to you in five, four, three, two, one. In other right, words, go. the security camera does not show the murder. Uh, that is... How does that even work? It's the same logic of one karma. Well, basically in this case, if there was really no victim, then that means there wasn't a murder. Uh, that's just the assumption that there was no victim. What just Phoenix just said is that someone else impersonated um, Detective Goodman. But it doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't. It it was. It went out uh, unscathed. 
Oh, exactly, but remember, Edgeworth's trying to push for that as a theory. Now, let us see exactly what lengths you've gone to prove. I think the, I think this instance with um, Edgeworth just then with the game talking... Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. <coughs> Which may make sense, I mean, considering the fact that the victim was disappeared. So. So the real crime can only take place at one location. The underground parking lot. At the prosecutor's office, the murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. Really? The hmm. evidence is compelling. The evidence, the power of evidence compels you. A trustworthy <laughs> witness. Observe the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. Hell yeah. <laughs> ah! <coughs> Dang, Edra stepped his game up. Well, we are at endgame. He kind of needs to. True. Uh, I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. It's a trap. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? Hmm. And where did this person disappear to? Hmm. However, this child's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective, of Detective Goodman. So we'll just Oh, update. priorities! <laughs> <laughs> just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something or else Lana... Hmm. What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? I've got it! OBJECTION! One moment, Your Honor! What now, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. <laughs> 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 of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. Did you huh. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing, and one thing only. What? The security video did not show the actual murder. Really? Um, okay. Uh... Hmm? Line... Hello? Okay. Huh. Okay. However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Especially as they happened at the same time. Got that right. Yep. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. Mm -hmm. Not the defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Especially since there was little to no blood at the actual crime scene. Mr. Edgeworth? I'm thinking... Yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Oh no. Uh, really? Is the prosecution prepared? Well, I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. Hmm. This just might be my chance. <coughs> yes. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Mr. Wright, do you mean... Yes, it's Your time Honor. to call Chuck Norris. <laughs> oh, God, no. Clint Eastwood, please. The defense would like to request a certain witness. Who? Who do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. 
the prosecution requests to hear this person's name. Yeah, Felix has to Before deciding okay. whether or not to comply. His name is John Cena! Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Of course. <laughs> this person whom you would have testified. Yeah, a sad person. What is his or her name? Hmm. I think Take they just told you. Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? Because he's because weird. I can't let him know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. I guess. The prosecution really agrees to, to the defense's request. Since he was Sorry. responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fine. <laughs> if we must. Fortunately, he works in the police department. Do we have a translator in the room? Don't you mean used to work? <laughs> no, oh, he no, still no, no. does. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Huh. What an, Very well. <laughs> what an amateur! I only require ten minutes of a recess. The court will take a thirty-minute recess while the witness. Oh, he's even harassing you from beyond the sub grave. Sub sub <laughs> sub 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 <laughs> well, actually, did Will come actually die after? Well, uh, after... It's, it's very implied there's a death sentence. Uh, well, I'll just wait till we get to trials and tribulations, and then All the right. game will make clear that he secretly took another vacation. <laughs> yes. Sir. February uh, along 24. with Elvis Presley. Uh, and 32, District Court, lobby number 2. <laughs> Done that. Silence. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Nope. Nope. No siree. I'm burning from the sky. Nice. And what do you mean? <laughs> you called for Jake Marshall. It seems you figured everything out. Uh... I haven't sure figured does, anything uh, out, because I have to figure this all out myself. Lana! You're the one who knows everything! Emma. You always know everything! Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you! Dang right I am! I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. Jesus How could you Christ. be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Da -da -da. Help, and I'm interrupting anything, pals. Oh, yes, I am. I'll come back later. Bye! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, Detective Gumshoe, uh, what is it? <laughs> You're gonna love Nerf Pal making a detective run all around the while on duty. Oh, so when Ezra <laughs> does it, it's just fine. Don't it Call me here. I've been happier people. I've seen that happier people at funerals. Ezra is like his best friend, though. <coughs> True. <laughs> Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Uh oh. Hey. Hey. hey, 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 hey. I didn't see you there, Miss Kai. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So, have you bought what I asked? Oh! 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 become Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> my apologies, Detective. Due to my present situation... Um, Circumstances. I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when... Oh. Writing the request. My name?! Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Oh. Would I bother to bring me the SLI incident files? Oh, aren't you I'll lucky. need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The SL9 incident? But Lana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them bought here. Huh. Here. You might do well to read them. Finally! You have something minutes. helpful! I believe you, the Chief Prosecutor, were a witness in that case. Miss Sky <coughs> was a witness? Hmm. Apparently. Right, you got 20 minutes to read through all that. Got Take it. it from me, you don't want anything to do with serial murders. 
Serial killings. Uh, that, that. Oh, what? Now when I brought your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me. <laughs> Felix is addicted to detectives. Uh, Emma! Mm. But why? Why is your name in here? Huh? What? Uh, My name's Jova? in there? I that, don't know. That, was, that wasn't very good delivery of that line, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. No, Ugh. it couldn't be. Lana, this SL9 incident is I... that. Da -da -da. Hmm. Da -da -da. That's the classification number the police filed it under. Mm -mm. Really? Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as the. Orange Joe, Joe Dark killings. The hmm. Joe Dark? No. No, Lana. <sighs> Finally, I've got my nasal thing taken care of. That's oh. over with. No! Jesus. Uh, Emma, wait! No. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, you know what? I just remember I gotta be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Ta -da -da -da. Jake Marshall. Angel Star, Damien Gant, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Emma. Okay, audience, uh, just to let you know, Emma's going to be absent for the rest of this day of the trial. Yeah. Everyone involved in this case and the killing. We'll get just a break from doing a coincidence. Police. True. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. Yes, maybe no. Huh. Well, it's not every day Lana's actually acting helpful and wishing me luck, so I'll take this for what it's worth. And yeah. Oh, uh, guys, Emma's left a note here. What? What? <laughs> uh, she's not coming back for two reasons. What? Oh, she'll be one, back. She'll be one, back. One, her, her trauma remembering the incident, and two, someone put laxative in her water. Oh, oh, she'll Why? be back. She'll be back. They're <laughs> all any come back. <laughs> better take a good look at this file. Uh, you gotta take a it. look at this cliche. But I have proof that Tio. The murderer has always come back to the Wait, scene of what? the crime. <laughs> yeah, you put it in there. You're the one. So you're telling me that I, uh, I brought my ass off to Japan America just to do that? Yes, you did. <laughs> the plot thickens. We'll look more into this in the next <laughs> part. Jova's clearly not trying to pad the rest of the time out. 